Alright guys, this is going to be the last video in this series on testing with Django. So I want to conclude things and just go over everything that we've learned in the duration of this course. So we've looked at testing the key components of Django web applications. And these include things like models and database constraints, Django views and templates, as well as Django form classes. And we tested all the validation that can be inherent to models and forms as well. We also tested authentication, so scenarios where users should be authenticated in order to see a particular resource. And we also tested scenarios when those users who were not authenticated would try and get access to those resources. So it's important to cover all of these bases when you're doing testing in Django. We also looked at signals and middleware, which are other components of the Django web framework. And as well as these, we looked at some more advanced concepts. For example, we looked at mocking external services, such as external APIs and email services. And we also discussed the benefits of mocking external services in general. We looked at dynamically modifying settings for our tests, and that includes how to create dedicated settings files for our Django test suite. And we looked at optimizing test performance with Django using techniques like selective testing and parallel testing. And finally, we looked at coverage.py, which helps to show the parts of your code that are being exercised by tests and the parts that are not. So that can help you cover any gaps in the code base that are not being tested. So I hope you've enjoyed this course and I hope it's helped you learn some different techniques for testing using the Django web framework. And you should now be ready to go ahead and write well-tested Django applications. So thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in a future series.